Sup everyone, how's you doing today? Welcome back to The Witcher 3. If you remember from the last episode, we have to follow the guard. Uh, Var Altre Guard Captain. <coughs> so let's go. I think he's going to take us to the Swordsmith's Ground. Something like that. The, the area with all the weaponry. Very nice. Grab a wooden white lately. Take care not to hurt the little miss. Mm, the portrayal of Elder Race in Monk. Do it yourself, but okay. Is there anything else? Can we not pinch that armor? Because that'd be fucking awesome. And unlike, uh. Follow me. Locked. Well, well, another freak. <laughs> uh. Excuse me? You thought I was a freak? How dare you? Alright, let's go. I believe we're going to be having a little test fight. I just fall down the stairs. I'm a clumsy little fuck, aren't I? You're my new instructor. Well, well, Papa clearly went out of his way this time. Wood to start with. I must know your work. Hmm. Do we actually get to fight her, or? Is it just going to be a really, really kind of quiet day? Let's dance. It was good enough, easy enough. Just get a little block going. She's not very good, is she? Pretty easy. Just get a few quick attacks going. Ooh, roll to the left. Roll to the right, nice. Why bother with two swords when you can barely Ooh, damn it? There we go. We're just too good. We are too good for this one. Well put. You're much better than the last one. Mm. I'm not actually your sword play instructor. Really? Then who are you? And how on earth did you get in? Am I imagining things? Didn't we just have this conversation in the garden? The garden? Yes, yes. In the garden. So, what was it you said? Why are you here? I was asking about the dandelion. We don't need to talk about, about your this rhetoric tutor, dandelion. This is not something that needs to be known. Tutor? Good one. Mm. That is why Papa hired him, but not at all what the bard had in mind. He mostly played his lute and sang for us. I believe he thought he was wooing. Mm. I mean, he wasn't. But you had some sort of relationship. If you call him chasing after me a relationship. Even so, there was nothing between us. Seems my sisters had a bit of fun at our expense. But enough chatter. Stand and fight. I demand a rematch. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> how fucking easy was it? We just got like, how many, how many attacks did we get there on quick succession? Can we knock her out? We just need to block, don't we? Oh, she's got some quick attacks going. Okay. Damn it! So can we not knock well, her out? If you're not an instructor, you should certainly <laughs> be one. Fancy giving me a few private lessons? Ooh. I think we're too busy, though. Sorry, gotta say no. Schedule's packed just now. As you wish. What are you two lovebirds whispering about? You asked about my relationship with Dandelion? Well, here's the mix-up's mastermind. Edna Var Atra, the greatest mischief maker north or south of the Yoruga. Hang on. So it was you in the garden. <laughs> of course it was me. Why, did Rosa try to play you for a fool? Twins. Don't be mad. We've done this since we were children. People have always mistaken us for one another. This sounds kind of more about Dandelion because, you know, we need to... Uh... On occasion, yes. But then Rosa would quickly set him straight. If you'd shut your catty mouth for a moment, dear little sister, I could explain. <laughs> it's getting needed in here. Dandelion some love letters. God. She signed my name. 
Conceited as he is, naturally he fell for it. I was mm -hmm. left to repel the aging bard's advances. Rosa, I had the best of intentions, you know that. Smooth the microphone up a little bit. Taking the first step. There we go. You blushed a little bit more here. It's going to make a bit of a loud He'll sound. Next but sing at your there we funeral go. If you don't stop it right now. Let's do quiet. Quiet. Ooh, now that's a mentor. Strong and decisive. Perhaps it's time I took up sword play. Mm. Listen, I just want to know one thing. Either of you seen Dandelion lately? Edna might have. I certainly have not. My dear sister, I would never spend time alone with a man for whom you burn with a secret passion. Burn with passion? For one who incessantly praises another <laughs> woman's <laughs> talents? Afraid I've more sense than that. It's a bit different. Okay. So that's the first question first. Who Dandelion sing about? Know mm. anything about her? I believe she's a poetess. Or Trebaritz. Very skilled and exceptionally talented, of course. This woman, mm. not a local rank. Okay. Mm. I seem to remember him praising her melodious Kaviri accent. Makes sense. He referred to her as Is this somewhere else that we need to travel? Bizarre names are common in Kavir. Gotta ask Zoltan about this Kalanetta. Let's ask quickly whether the whether he's acting strangely. And no then we'll know whether to head on or not. Not really. It's no use, Geralt. She's so enamored, she'd hardly notice if he turned into a werewolf. Edna, what? You needn't pretend he followed convention. Remember when he took us to the cemetery? Rhetoric lessons in a cemetery. Unusual even for Dandelion. We set out to visit the graves of celebrated Oxenford professors. He ended up quizzing us about mm. Margrave Henkel. Who? Eccentric old coot. Died recently. He'd apparently been an important and generous patron of the arts as a young man. We should say that we need to go. Pleasure, but I've got stuff to take care of. So I've spoken to these two. Nice to meet you. Please come again. It's been nice to meet them both, but they're a bunch of bitches. Well, can I expect any more lessons in future? Let's see if she's convinced us. We might be coming back. Miss. Wonder where you learned it. Name the time and place. How's here tomorrow? Same time as today. See you then. See you, Master Witcher. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> will it will it let us just do it, or will we need to actually come back? Because I'm hoping we get a nice you know, summer gold for something that won't be too difficult. Yeah, we have. Uh, we're heading out. Get the water. Is there anything in here that we can do? Go to the bar residence mm, tomorrow. Just, just literally all it says. Okay, let's have a look at our. That's not the one. Let's have a look at our quest journal. So we have series footsteps. Um, that's just the main, main quest. Broken flowers. Talk to Zoltan. Jesus Christ! Look how many people we've spoken to. We need to sort, talk to Zoltan and head, find about heading to Skellig, Skellige, and Skelliger's up there. Fencing tomorrow. Okay. These are all just natural obscurity of curses. You think it should talk to Greka? Natural obscurity of curses. Talk to Kira. And meet him, meet the Baron in Dalmoran. Okay, so we've got a bunch of little quests, but let's just quickly read that book and see if we can remember which one it was. She knows Bear Legend, Introduction to the Applied Magic. No, it wasn't those ones. Dandelion's Planner, Mysterious Letter. Do it yourself. We have a quick look at what the book was called again. So secondary quests and it was a series room. But the natural obscurity of curses. Uh, okay, let's have a let's have a look on the quest items. Here we go. What's in here? To my dear friends Philip and Anna from Co from Count Le Grev Le, Le Grever, Minister of Culture for the Kingdom of Temeria, Vizima, twelve sixty five. 
Whoever thinks curses are only manifestations of one's being ill will, will, uh, will towards another is sorely mistaken. Shockingly commonplace are reports of, cur of curses cast unwittingly upon oneself or on objects in one's in in immediate environment. The consequences of doing so can be difficult to predict. In many cases can lead to harm or even death in the persons afflicted by the curse or of the one spending time with the object or being in one with the curse's film. That is why it is so essential to take the preservative measures to safeguard oneself as thoroughly as possible against the casting of curses. An absolute minimum, Madame Amelia Veracruz Leon recommends. Cleansing oneself of all negative thoughts, striving to be at one with the world and achieving harmony between the body and the mind. So we've read that mm. book. Dedication to the Baron and his wife. Seems they have friends in high places in Vizima. Okay. We don't want that one. We don't want to be heading to Skellige. So actually, that's a good point. Can we... Can we just, um... Meditate? Till... Let's say this time tomorrow? <laughs> then we can pretty much do the quest. And... Uh, okay, let's see. Where's it? Broken flowers. No, series footsteps. Fencing lesson. We, okay, Swex. Can we not even talk to her? Okay, Swex. Okay, let's go talk to. Let's go talk to that guy and then come back. Zoltan. Let's go talk to Zoltan. He's only 300 away. Alright, can we go out the front? Well, we can jump over that anyway. Let's go on foot for now. Is it, oh, okay, what? Well, I don't know why he had to climb over that. Could have, like, leapfrogged it. Because obviously, doing this, uh, doing the fencing is only for extra money. Um, so, it'd be nice to do it, but it's not needed. It's a side quest. But I still think that some of the side quests we should kind of clear up. Um, but it'll probably be kind of the thing you're doing I'm doing my side uh, tomb recordings so we're starting to get somewhere fingers crossed with the uh, with the whole recording um, we're just starting to get into the episodes let's just burn them We completely fucked him up. Was that everyone? It was. So what did we get from them? Shirt, crown, mace. And again, is it going to be the same? Ham sandwich. He's, his body literally... Hang on a minute. Did his body get completely seathered in half? Ho oh, ho! Okay. Now he's getting stuck on that. Going back to the uh, early on time when we realised how weird the controls were in this game when it comes to movement. Oh, it's very slow to respond. Look, if I go left, sorry, right, I'm going to stop talking now because I'm going to use my directions. Which is not a good idea. Alright. Go back in glory lane. Jump over the beggar. Oh, it's that shady individual. Go back to the Zoltan. Are you keeping? Miss your Zoltan, you old bum. What's this? I've not even drunk her water. Let's get some stout and talk to Zoltan. Hmm. Ah, you're back. Are you back, you wee puppy? You have to stop talking any day now. Hmm. Nice bird, but to the matter at hand. So, how'd you do? Learn much? Women on my list hadn't seen Dandelion in a while. All claimed okay. he'd been acting strange. Also mentioned he'd been seeing someone else. Thing is, mystery woman wasn't on my list. What's she supposedly like, this man? Blonde, from Kovir. A Troberitz, apparently. Named Kalanetta or something like that. 
Uh, that makes it clear as crystal. It's Priscilla. I must be her. Okay, let's talk to her. Who's this Priscilla? A troberitz, like you said. Quite popular of late. Like some dandelion with a pair of tits. You've got the general idea. Interesting image. So how dandelion handle meeting mm. his female double? I think he fell in love. It's just that's big what news. Can say? Could be I mean, if he's falling in match. She's as much, all right. Maybe more. The laddie's head's on fire. Lassie's got him whirling. Mm. All right. Guess we gotta talk to her. Priscilla works for the Mummers Troop. Reynard and the Foxen. Whenever they're in town, she performs nightly at the Kingfisher. You mean we've been sentenced to an evening of poetry? Must you always? This'll be true poetry, Geralt. You'll see. <laughs> so after sundown. After sundown, okay. In that case, more meditation. We're gonna go to let's go let's go there. Nine o'clock at night. That's after sundown. Sundown is it? Yeah. Thing I pissed me too from Willows. Oh, All right, let's keep on going. I don't want to anger the king of well, uh, king peasants people. Oh, all right, so where are we going anyway? How many drunk people are there around Novigrad? So we're going into the Kingfisher, which is this place on the left. Looks like a high, a really big performance area. A few floors. And we're meeting Zoltan here. <coughs> Already, come on, let's find some arse rests. Should start soon. <laughs> arse rests, chairs. We're just going to watch her tune her guitar for ages. Nope, we're not. Mm. Is she going to make any noise? She's meant to be a bard. Or is, no, whatever, whatever her job was. I thought it was poetry. If we're into poetry, and you can't make poetry through music. That's when my heart you flee the wolf of I I speaking of less of this songing I know the oh God how many how much are we gonna have to go through and skip I know him Twas he murdered some Tamarian boys back in White Orchard Silence woman we'll come to hear music A murderer there's a hmm. war on. Some die. Oh, please, argue this out elsewhere. Squabbles and rows again. And I was told this was a decent establishment. If I know Geralt, he risked his noggin to save someone else's ass. Save, you say? He murdered both. So I remember that woman as well. Don't let him provoke you. There's the door. Settle this outside. Come on. I wish to listen to music. Music. Cultural capital of the world. <laughs> then the culture capital of our country is a hole, or was, and holes a fucking shit hole from what I've ever seen. Permit me to introduce uh, uh, this year's Priscilla, known also as Calinetta, as lovely as she is talented, and this is Geralt of Rivia. I know. 
Dandelion's told me a great deal about you, and I've listened with bated breath. <laughs> Don't be surprised. After all, doubt I could think of a more fitting subject for a ballad than a witch's love for a sorceress. Or should I say, sorceresses. Seems Dandelion was meticulous in telling my story, down to personal and insignificant details. Exactly. Did he offer anything about himself, mm -hmm. like where he was going? We do need to find him. <laughs> <coughs> Splendid. Very funny, truly. So, see you later. Not here. Come with me. Thought she was just going to walk off and not there tell us. reason for all this sneaking around. An excellent one. When last I saw Dandelion, he told me he was planning a heist. Siggy Reuben's vault. Shoot up. And I've not seen him since. Let me guess. Attempted heist was a failure. Well, he's not driven up in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I should think so. I've asked after him everywhere. Hmm. But it seems an army of tongue-stealing cats has overrun the city. I learned only that he raised a ruckus at Horson Jr.'s lair. Then Horson's men chased him all over town. Horson Jr. doesn't ring a bell. Biggest prick in Novigrad. Not literally, but... Got it. <laughs> You're not a fan. But what did he do to you? Try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. The others being Siggy Reuben, Carlo the Cleaver Vares, and the King of Beggars. The rascal. At least they didn't cross the church as well. Bring that venerable institution into it. We'll be in deep then. Well, let's go and rescue him. Here I go again, rushing to Dandelion's rescue. He ought to pay me a salary. Whoever he is, I sincerely doubt he's in the mood for jokes. Nor am I, in fact. Relax. I'll get him out of this. Gotta talk to this Horson first. And Siggy Reuven. Know where I might find them? I don't know about Horson, but Reuven runs a bathhouse. Careful, though. He's a dangerous character. So am I. Mm. I don't doubt it. But Dandelion's not. I beg you to hurry. Let me know as soon as you learn anything. You will do, woman. Well, right, let's be gone. Let's get out of this place as quickly as we possibly can. Where's that woman who so called us uh, a murderer? Where is this poor woman? No, let's not even bother finding her. I mean, we could have questioned her, but we've got one point available here. Uh, character. Uh, let's go another one in for. Oh, nope. Let's upgrade one into fast attack. We've nearly maxed it out now. So we're going to be go talking to the ba uh, bathhouse to talk to Sigiru then. See if we can see him. No, we're not. Anybody there? Open up. It's pretty late at night. You think we might wait till the morning? What's the fuss? The bathhouse is closed. Need to talk to the owner. I know he's here. I'm not sure that matters, as he's terribly busy. We don't really care to be honest. Tell them Geralt of Rivia wants to talk to him. I cannot promise Mr. Ruben that we'll have time to see him. Wanna bed? <laughs> Very well, I shall try. Please wait. Siggy Ruben cordially invites you to join him. I'm happy. What did happen to your chin? The meeting is in the baths. We will pass through the dressing room so you can leave your clothes. Let's go. Why are we going to a bath? I mean, I know it's an old-fashioned thing to sit in the bath with other people, but... You may disrobe here. Your equipment will be safe. You just use that one. 
fucking full of scars, though. Oh, that was a door. Oh, Jesus Christ. So much to block out of YouTube. Oh, get out of the way, woman, man, thing. Let's go talk to him. Easy, Cleaver. Or son Junior's a dead man. I'll have my scribe send you a notice. You don't have a scribe. And we'll eliminate Junior when, and only when, all of us say I. Here we are. Reuven, your guest. Okay, sorry to bother him so late. You let him in here because I want to talk to him. This is Geralt of Rivia. Good to see you again. As you believe a minute, but swiping loot. Who the fuck are you? Well, I'm a witcher. I'm a witcher. Problems with your plumbing? Nah, it's under control. Geralt's a friend from the old days, although. Got intruders. Someone just snuck inside the bathhouse. Several men. What the fuck's he on about? Plowing fortune, Jack. We just heard it. Bloody hell. I fucking knew it. Any weapons tucked away? Just a few. Did they trust me with a weapon? If I got a fucking bludgeon, when I could have picked up a sword. <laughs> yeah, I mean a naked fight isn't always the best thing. Well, that was easy. Actually, gonna focus on looting these things up. Can I not? Can I loot anything yet? So I can't do that yet. Okay. Mug, blunt axe, apple, mug, twenty blunt axe. Um. Quest update. Good work, gents. Terribly sorry for that incident. My security failed. I'll get to the bottom of who, mm. why, and how. They were whoreson scum. That's the bottom of who and how right there. Don't start that again. Especially not in front of our guest. Exactly. We did just help them out the quite a lot. That probably killed most of them. Coincidence? Why do I doubt it? Let's give him a chance to explain. I'm looking for Horson Jr. Hmm. Interesting. What do you want with him? It's personal. <laughs> uh, Geralt takes his privacy very seriously. Spying on him, having him followed, is a bloody nightmare. Still, he was lots more trusted when he was looking for Marigold. Gentlemen, you out of your fucking minds? A chat session? Poor son's out to get us, and he'll succeed eventually. We've got to kill him first. So by all means, you sit here, soak, fart, and watch the bubbles rise, mm. while I send my boys to Horse Sun's hidey holes. They'll make some noise, flush the bugger out. And you, geriatric, or whatever your plowing name is, want to find Horse Sun? Find me first. You just did you right in front of me. Any clue on Junior's whereabouts? 
be grateful for any lead. Siggy? It's worth a try. Geralt's got a knack for finding people. And he's discreet. A value in itself. Hmm. Leave you to it then. So how about we get dressed? Sure. Come on. Let's skip to when we're dressed. Because that's going to be the conversation. What a mess that was. Never thought I'd be glad to see the man responsible for my taking frequent baths. If you're any cleaner for it, gotta say it was worth breaking your ankle. It healed poorly. Can you believe it? I must soak it in hot water at least six times a day now. Failing that, it bloody pounds like the bells of Beauclair at dawn. <laughs> sorry to hear that. Sorry to hear that. You're sorry? Well, consider it resolved then. Now, mind showing some added compassion could mean a miraculous recovery to me. Listen, Reuven. No, Dijkstra. Just not in the mood for your code names, passwords, and other bullshit. I'm here on specific business. If you want to listen, listen. Mm. If not, I'd rather you spared me your wit and threw me out now. Ah, uh, what's the harm? Talk. You think Cleaver will find Horson? He might. He might not. But he'll burn down half the city trying. What waste. Leave him to it, I say. Work alone. Any ideas? Junior's got areas of the city where he's strong. Penetrate them, look around. But be discreet. None of this speed mm. and fury and swinging your steel cock about. We don't need to ask him about his past. The past is in the past. All we need to know is where we're going to find him and that we can help out some way. Gambling. That's his big earner. Junior controls the largest casino in town. I'll never forget. Hierarch Hemelfart raised all kinds of hallowed hell there once. Mm. Bugger bet lost his ruby ring. Then there's the arena in the city's bowels. Betting scheme generates near as much as the casino. They're always looking for hired muscle there. Suppose you could always search Horson's hand. Mm. Let's go to the casino first. Where's Junior's casino? Near the Temple Watch Towers. Horson's got now to do with the casino mm. officially. Why are we asking about all this? We can truly find it. And then where has he got his house? Solid townhouse on Temple. And then it's now time we went looking. See if I can't find Horson at the casino or the arena. I talk to. Do what you will. Thanks. Just go. We. And if you. Time was on my way. Got things to do myself. So long. Well. In that case, let's get outside and finish this episode as it is. Guys, thank you ever so much for watching, and if you enjoyed, you know what to do. Hit that like button at the bottom of the video. If you're new around here, subscribe. Tell your friends about the channel. Comment if you have any comments, questions, anything like that. If you'd like to suggest something. Otherwise, links in the description for my Twitter and Twitch. My name's been Pete Bush. It's been an absolute pleasure, guys. And, uh, yeah, I'm out.